Good morning, everybody. This is Michael J. Long, August the 31st, 2011. Well, July the 31st, actually. Tomorrow will be August the 1st. Um, today, I want to talk about abortions. You know, um, just real quick. Abortions, well, they'll sit there and say, well, yeah, liber most libertarians tend to support abortions. But there's many other libertarians that will view abortions as an act of aggression. And the view with conservatives, with, liber with, with some libertarians, and definitely with most, if, except for the liberal conservatives, but with most conservatives and many libertarians pretty much stand against abortion and believe that abortion should be, should never be allowed. Now, of course, there are some circumstantial people that will say, well, you know, abortions should be only be allowed if the mother is endangered and other than that an abortion should not be allowed and should be made against the law for 99 percent of the reasons that because there's abuse with that you know some people will turn around and they'll make love and they'll go to the hospital have an abortion they'll do the same thing over and over again so they don't respect life no matter what you do. And the Supreme Court decided to be a little bit more of a moderate here and said, well, you can have an abortion, right, on the, just on the first, second, and third trimester, but once the fourth, fifth, sixth comes, then you can't have one, and this and that and the other thing. Like the first, second, and third, you know, you, you can, it's the pending moment. It's the fourth, the fifth, you can have one. The fifth is all this stuff, right? We shouldn't have abortions at all because... It devalues life. All it is is okay. Um, the per the female that this guy made love to, she don't want the baby. Oh, we don't want to bring the baby into it. We don't want to bring a baby to this uh, uh, an unknown world, right? And this and that and the other things. Oh, well, let's kill the baby. Well, no, that's not what you do. And if you look at the U.S. Constitution. And some people, especially people on the left, will sit there and say, yeah, but an abortion under the Constitution, doesn't the woman have the right to choose in this and that? Well, if you look at the Constitution, isn't abortion an act of aggression? When it sits, when the Constitution says in its preamble, the right to happiness and this and that, doesn't that mean that the baby has the right to life? To life? Absolutely. And all this, oh, well, we're killing babies attitude. That argument doesn't hold water. This argument that a woman has the right to choose on whether or not to kill an innocent life or not and then call it a, 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 a fetus when, it's a, when human life begins at the art of exception, at the exception. According to people like Ron Paul, I think this whole killing babies not garbage is nonsense. You know, and I would add, and, and all these people like Planned Parenthood and stuff, they'll sit here and try to promote it. And, uh, oh, because they want to reduce the world's population down to 80%. And they're either going to do that before they're, they create, they're able to create their new world order or once they've created their new world order. They're already using us as guinea pigs, these big-time globalists. And people fall for it. Oh, oh, I don't want to bring my child into an unknown world. Oh, so let's have an abortion. You know, and it's the same attitude over and over and over and over again. It's like, can't, can't you recognize for one minute that that child is precious? And maybe, yeah, you know, and, and if you don't want the baby because maybe you have a noise perception or maybe you can't stand the way they cry and scream and shout and you get annoyed easily or maybe you financially cannot afford to have a baby, whatever the case may be, then you adopt. And this whole deal about abortions, first off, abortions is not free. It's going to cost you money because even the doctors have to get paid. And abortions should practically cost around the same amount, especially when they become more popular, that being an adoption. 
And so, would you, would you, and there's always a loving family out there that is always willing to accept a loving child, a loving baby, and raise him or her up the way a good family ought to. So this whole nonsense that we got to have an abortion, I think it's utter and complete nonsense. And quite frankly, nobody should be allowed to have an abortion unless under extraordinary circumstances that the woman's in harm's way. And that's a different story. But even then, even then, do you really want her to live or the baby, what not? I don't know. But if you look at the Bible, God does not encourage death. And he damn sure doesn't encourage abortions. If anything, God is pro-right, pro-life, and he would want every single one of us to be pro-life. That being if you believe in God and this and that. Now, if you're a Muslim and you believe in Allah, Appa, whatever the case may be, well, doesn't Allah want you to be pro-life? Doesn't Allah in, in, in the natural Muslim Quran want you to not abuse women? You know, I'm not buying this. Oh, the Quran says we got to, you know, abuse women and not let her drive and this and that and the other thing. I doubt that that's what the Quran says. I think the people that want, I think there's a doctored up version of the Quran out there that says, oh, we got to kill and treat the women like crap and have Sharia law. Just like there's a doctored up version of the Catholic religion that says, oh, the woman has the right to choose. When you look at the Bible, the Bible doesn't say, oh, well, you got to kill your baby. That's unacceptable. And not only is it unacceptable in a religious standpoint, it's unacceptable in any standpoint, in any way you look at it. Okay, I'm Michael J. Long, and um, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it.